Okay, this is my mid-toned sort of nudes. This is probably my biggest category and I've got a ton of stuff to get through. They don't even all fit on the camera appropriately, but I did want to get them all just laid out quickly. This is mostly drugstore. This is mostly high-end. All right, let's get rid of some things that I know will be easy to get rid of. This little baby makeup forever thing I'm never going to use. These are little baby Marc Jacobs ones. I love this formula so much. So one of these samples is Slow Burn. I just bought the full size version of that. It is a beautiful um, sort of mauve mid-toned nude. I love it. I am hanging on to this. I'm gonna get rid of the sample. These other two are in the shade Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And this is more of, like I said, that sort of muted red color. And this is, oh, that was Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. They're both Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. We're gonna keep one, get rid of one. This is a Makeup Forever lipstick in the shade 29. Very, very similar to that shade Slow Burn from Marc Jacobs. It's pretty, but I'm gonna declutter it. This is a shade I got in a BoxyCharm. It is the brand Mellow. This is actually a fairly pale nude now that I look at it. Let's set this one to the side. That might be a maybe. This is a Chanel lipstick. This is stunning packaging. You push on the end, it pops up, and you pull the lipstick out. This is in the shade Captivate 119. It is a metallic. So it's got kind of a gold undertone running through it. It's kind of a fiery red. It is beautiful. It's the only Chanel lipstick I own. I don't see myself getting rid of that. These are two Hourglass Lip Stylos. This is in the shade Peacemaker, which is a sort of a peachy brown color, and then one that I actually bought a full size of in Influencer, which is more nude. I love the formula on these. I'm gonna keep both the sample and this. So I got two MAC lipsticks here. This is the shade Brave, which probably should have been in my mauve colors, to be honest, but whatever, we're keeping it in here. And this is Mare. So on the left is Mare, and on the right is Brave. Do I need both of these? Yeah. Uh, this is Pepper. This is the old formula for the Bite Amouge Bouche lipsticks. I don't love this as much as the new formula. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. I think I have a friend who would really like it. Um, that's that there. It's a little glossier. I like the, Amou the new Amouge Bouche formula better. This is my only NARS Audacious. This is in the shade Apolline. This is stunning. The pigmentation is amazing. So I'm hanging on to the NARS. This is 1993. It is a comfort matte. These are three older format um, Urban Decay lipsticks. This is Liar, which is a really pretty mid-tone nude. And then this is Fiend. So I think I'm gonna hang on to these two. I really like them. Okay, this is the La Rock highly pigmented lipstick. This is the shade Duchess. And this is the shade Secret Agent. That's more brown. All right, I think I'm gonna pass along Secret Agent and keep Duchess. This is a, supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks from Makeup Revolution. They dupe everything of hers. This is shade Prime. But I remember this smelled like plastic. It smells like a Barbie doll. The color is pretty. But the shade, or the formula is not bad, but the, I can't get over the, it smells like Barbie doll scent. This is from LA Girls. This is their matte lipstick in the shade Snuggle. And that's really pretty and seems pretty comfortable. Let me hang on to you. This I'm gonna jump into. This is a metallic from Ulta. This in my mind is how you do a metallic. It is very, very pretty, very pigmented. I just bought this. This is in the shade Sweet Surprise. I will say this metallic line that they've just released is very hit or miss. Some are metallic, some are just pure glitter bombs. So go into the store and actually swatch these. You can't tell online, but the shade Sweet Surprise is gorgeous metallic. So I'm gonna hang on to that. This is also from Ulta. This is one of their, Lord, I don't even know what this lipstick is. It's pretty, but I think I have a thousand things like it. So I'm gonna pass this one on. This is another one of those beautifully bare ones. This is Touch of Blush. And this is really pretty and it's comfortable. I think this is going in my maybe pile. This is from Rimmel. This is one of their new matte formulas in Salute, shade 200. Don't remember loving this one. In fact, I think this is a little too pink, so I'm gonna pass that on. It's just looking a little too Barbie pink for me. This is actually a lipstick from a line that is done at Anthropology. This is the shade Rosewood. Can't remember the name of this brand. I'll put it on the screen. I love this formula. I love this color. I am gonna hang on to this. This is a NYX Butter Gloss Butter Lipstick in Root Beer. It is a thinner formula, and I don't think I have anything super lightweight 
in a shade like this, so I'm gonna hang on to that. This is the Boots number no. seven in Honey Bloom. Pretty, but it looks like everything else in my collection. This is the Milani Matte Lipstick in 25 Naturally Chic. It's not bad, but once again, it looks like a zillion other things in my collection. This is a matte shade from Ulta. This is the shade Blooming. But am I gonna reach for it over some of my higher end ones? Probably not. This is NYX Matte Lipstick in Whipped Caviar. And I love this formula, so I'm gonna hang on to that. This is one of the NYX Soft Matte Lipsticks. Incredibly thin, yet it's incredibly pigmented. I really do like this formula. I'm gonna hang on to this. These are two lipsticks from MUA um, Blush and Rouge. This is the shade Blush. And this is the shade Rouge. I think I'm gonna pass Rouge along, which is more orange toned and keep blush. These are two Wet n Wild lipsticks. This is the shade In the Flesh, which is probably my favorite color from them. I'm gonna hang on to that. I like having them for reference. And then this is the shade Wine Room. Should be with my wine lipsticks, not in this. This is Marsala Blush from e.l.f. This is one of their moisturizing lipsticks. That is really pretty. We're gonna hang on to that. Okay, now some Kate ones. This is the shade My Nude. This is my favorite nude from, I think, her line. It's incredibly creamy. It's just a really good warm nude. This is number 45. Pretty, it probably should have been in my last declutter. And then this is shade 80. I think I'm gonna pass along shade 80. It's a color I love, but I feel like I've got it replicated a zillion times over on my hand. I know I like this one. It was limited edition, but I still really like it and I think I'm gonna hang on to 45 as well. These are a bunch of nude Maybelline lipsticks. All right, so the first one is the shade Warm Me Up. This is new to my collection, but I adore, adore, adore this sort of pinky uh, mid-tone nude shade. Love it, that is going nowhere. Okay, real quickly, I swatched my Maybelline lipsticks. So the first is Warm Me Up, which I love. The next is Nude Nuance. Touch of Spice, and then Almond Rose. I like all of these, but I think I'm gonna pass along the more brown shade here and keep the other three. All right, so let's look at all these pencils that we have left. So this is a Clinique Chubby Stick. It is not the intense one. It's very sheer. I never reach for this. I'm gonna pass it along. The next is an e.l.f. Elf. This is a Revlon HD lipstick in Desert. And that is really pretty sort of peachy nude. It's hard with the reflection, sorry guys. Um, I'm gonna hang on to this one. This is my only nude stick. This is in the shade Purity. I do really love this formula. I like having a nude stick in my collection. This is NARS Recusion in a sample size two over. This is a beautiful nude. I'm gonna keep one and pass one along. This is a little thing, sample size from Tresique in the shade Florence Fig. Very pretty, very similar to Recusion, to be honest. So I'm gonna pass that one along. This is ColourPop Faded. This is a new cream formula and it is gorgeous. I love this color. It is so pigmented and so pretty on the lips. This is one of the Buxom pencils. I love this one. It is more brownie colored, but it is gorgeous for fall. This is in Hush Hush. And this is from NYX. It is the Ombre Lip Duo. I would not recommend these because they're stupid expensive for how much product you get, but I'm gonna use this one up. It's got the other end with a pencil on it. This is from Bite. This is one of my newest purchases. This is the shade Amaretto. I love this nude. Not giving that up. And then this is also from Bite. This is the shade Sable. I have used the heck out of this. I love it. It's a very pinky mid-tone nude. And then last but not least, these are two e.l.f. matte lip colors. This is the shade Praline. Ooh, I broke the container. All right, well, that one's getting thrown away. It broke, which is sad, because Praline was, I was about to say, was the color that I wanted to keep. This is the shade Catwalk Orange. All right, that is Catwalk Orange. It should definitely be with my orange collection, so I'm gonna pass that. Okay, so let me do a little bit of totaling. <laughs> 